Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Jeremy Pettis, endocrinologist, type 1 diabetic, and work at taking control of your diabetes. Let's talk about a really quick and specific topic. Are, are there any medications that affect the readings on my Dexcom CGM? A lot of patients with type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes are wearing a Dexcom CGM, and there is one medication that you should know about that will affect your blood sugar readings. And guess what? That's Tylenol, or acetaminophen. And it's unfortunate that out of all the medications that might affect your, your CGM, it's the most common medication probably in the world. So what does it do to your CGM? Well, it makes your CGM read artificially high. And that means if my blood sugar is 150 for real, and I took some Tylenol, it might actually read as 250. Um, and it, as the Tylenol gets out of your system, it'll go back to normal. But that's a problem because what if I thought my blood sugar really was 250 and I took some insulin to bring my blood sugar down, but it was already 150? That can make you go hypoglycemic. So it's very important to kind of be aware of this. Instead of Tylenol, you can take aspirin. You can take uh, NSAIDs like Advil or Motrin, these kinds of things. They don't affect it at all. And most people know, gosh, I shouldn't take Tylenol. But guess what? Tylenol or acetaminophen is in a lot of other stuff namely cold medicine, like Dayquil, you have to read the labels, and if it says acetaminophen in there, you just need to be aware of it. Pain medications like Vicodin and Percocet contain acetaminophen, so just be on the lookout for that. The Medtronic version of the CGM does not have this issue with Tylenol, but the Dexcom one does. Later iterations of the product, they're gonna get rid of this problem, but it's something to be aware of right here and now, and just try to avoid Tylenol, use something else if you can. Hope you found that helpful. Have a good day.